Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last season, we went over a number of different prayers, which can help us draw closer to God. It's far from an exhaustive list of traditional prayers, but it's a place to start anyway. This season, we'll be talking about good reasons to believe in God. But first, how do we know when a reason is a good reason? I've gone over some of this before, a little bit, but the rules of logic and reason apply to God in the same way that they apply to everything. We obtain information using the five methods of proof. Deduction, learning specific truths from general claims. Induction, learning general truths from specific samples. Mathematics, using abstract concepts of numbers to reach new conclusions using addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Science, the study of the world around us through experimentation and measurement and experience or perception, obtaining information personally through interacting with the world around us without testing or experimenting. These are the ways that we have of obtaining evidence. Is a reason good because it has evidence to support it? Not necessarily. For example, you can find a murder weapon in someone's room. That would be evidence that they committed the murder, but then again, it might have been planted in their room by someone else. Just because there's evidence doesn't mean that the reason is good enough. In order for something to be a reasonable claim, there should be not just evidence, but better evidence than for the opposite claim. A claim is reasonable to believe if the evidence supporting that claim is better than the evidence against the same claim. In other words, where does the evidence point? Even when the evidence is heavily against a certain claim being true, some people will still reject it. But that would be a fallacy called personal incredulity, rejecting a claim just because you find it hard to believe, instead of offering a counterargument. That wouldn't be a reasonable decision. Reasonable decisions are choices made because that's where the best relevant, available evidence on the subject leads you. These things should be kept in mind while examining the evidence for any claim, but especially the evidence for the existence of God. Next time, can our senses give us evidence of God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.